Good morning, everyone. This is Miss Marchetti. This is Mr. Harold. And we are at Moody Middle School in a sixth grade math classroom. Um, and today we are learning about circle graphs and um, other types of graphs. And what we're going to do is we're going to get started with a warm up with Mr. Harold. All right. All right. Ready, guys? Yeah. All right. So today's graphs are alike and different. So we've been working on graphs for a few days now. So we should all be familiar with what, what type of graphs these are. So the first graph is what kind of graph? A circle graph. Circle graph, and then the one on the to your left is a bar graph. Bar graph. Okay. So Anne, you had your hand raised first. So you wanted to give me a like or different. So what is your answer? So the um, alike is that they're both graphs, and um, even though they're two different graphs, they still have like the same. So you're saying that they take above about the same amount of space on each graph, okay? So your percentages are similar. Aubrey, do you have your hand raised? Yeah. Um, I would say the difference is that the that the circle is the image just the circle and the other bar is just the Okay. So they're both normal. So we can say they're both normal, okay? So that's gonna give us something we can bridge them with. Okay. Anybody on this side? Mm -hmm. Milan. We'll put like um the pie chart, like you can like it's like more clear what the percentages are than the than the bar graph. Okay. So you're saying that they are different because one has, you can see the percentages better on one versus the other. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anybody else? AJ? They both have the same percentages. They both have the same percentages. Okay, so that's something we got. So anybody can give me something else that may be a light or something else that's different? Anybody? Caleb? They all have the same colors. They all have the same colors? Okay. So both graphs have the same colors. Okay. You guys give me anything else? One final thought. They both don't have keys. They both don't have keys. Okay. So, I'll get ready. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, what is your answer? They both don't have keys. Or titles. Or titles. All right, so that's one thing we did talk about this week, that when we look at graphs, they're supposed to have keys and titles to them. So it can help you describe what's going on in the graph. So if you were explaining the graph to somebody that didn't understand what they were looking at, that you can give them the information that they need to be able to understand it. All right, anything else before we move on to the next activity? No, because I'm going to do it. You think it was good? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you for your participation yes. today. You guys did a good job. Thank you for your thoughts and sharing them. So make sure that you have your entrance into Schoology so you can get your credit for today. All right. All right. Anything else? All right. Good. So we're going to move on into our activity for today. All right. So do you guys remember the data that you all collected yesterday when we took those papers and going around and you like selected your favorite food, color, subjects? Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put that information into different kinds of graphs. Okay. Uh, so we're going to, your group might either be making a circle graph, your group might be making a bar graph, or your group might be making a pictograph based off of the information that we collected yesterday. To kind of help us out, we have what your groups will be, and then you all will be picking which graph you will be making. So you do not need your computers at all, so if you can kindly put them, close them, and then actually take them off your desk, because you will need your desk space for this. 
All right, and we're going to quickly make sure that our group members are kind of close together with one another because you will need to be sharing some desk space. All right, so Drayden and Damari, you're going to be a uh, group, so you need to make sure that your desks are kind of close together. All right, y'all. So each group, each group, you have a different graph in front of you. Each group, you also have a paper. I'm going to borrow this for a second. A paper that has the checklist that your graph needs. And every single person has a table that you will fill out based off of your information. It will have what category you have. You need to write that uh, number. We will give you how many people voted for each uh, item of your problem. Then you will write it as a fraction and a percent. Everyone will turn this paper in along with their graphs. You are going to create with each other, every group member has to work together here, on this paper, I recommend that you start off with pencil first because if you make a mistake, you can erase it, okay? Once you think that you have this good, uh, we have plenty of coloring supplies. We have crayons, color pencils, and markers for you to make this project, your poster, look colorful, um, neat, and organized. Then once we are done, um, we are going to compare our graphs. So some of you are making the same information, but you're making a bar graph and a circle graph. So like our warm-up, we're going to be able to compare the different kind of graphs that we have to show the information, okay? So we'll be coming around from each of your groups to give you guys the numbers that you need for your tables. Okay? All right, so before you guys start to do any drawing, what you guys need? Can I have everybody eyes, please? Everybody eyes, please. Before you guys do any drawing, please make sure that you have your papers filled out. Make sure you have all your information correct. And once you start drawing, please take your time and make it neat as possible. So you can understand, because like you said, we're going to compare these. So when we exchange graphs, you guys need to be, the other people, the other groups need to be able to understand what you wrote. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. All right, so please take your time with your information first. Ask any questions if you need to. Yeah. So and then we'll do the drawing kind of as a group, okay? Three. So, okay, everybody understand? All right, so you, you guys need to work together on figuring out your information for your your white worksheet right, so you that you have. Here. And these also Both have a checklist place. on them, so you guys can kind of go down the checklist and make sure you have everything before you start building your graph on your construction paper, okay? okay? All right, so just make sure you're checking off your checklist. Make sure everybody's in agreement on what you're doing, okay? Can we start? Yes, go ahead and start. Okay. start. I'm going to let you guys know for your groups. I'm just going to quickly give you guys the numbers that you need, and then you're going to continue filling out this chart, okay? So these are the numbers you're going to need straight down. Eight. Two. Eight. Straight down, yep. It's a picture graph. Oh, it's a picture graph. Okay. Um, it's like, so it's like the one that's 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 Numbers so that you guys need. Make sure so you, you step one first. The first step is to These are the numbers you need go straight down here, okay? Because you both filled them out by myself. So, Ms. Horn, Kathy, you guys, 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 you Yep. All right, y'all. These are the numbers you're going to need for your graph straight down here. Five. Yes. Yep. Right here. You'll need these. Five. Two. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. It gives this chart right here. Okay. Straight down. Five. Two. Nine. Four. Okay. Okay. There you go. All right, the first step on our 
Make sure, to make sure we complete the table. So we're completing the table. So we're getting all our information. And all the information is coming from the data that we gathered yesterday. So the charts that you guys filled out, when you picked your favorite color, soda, drink, all right, things so like that. So you're your fraction here. Uh, what, so what would max fraction be? Five? Out of how many total people were there? It all be out of 20. Mm -hmm. And then we'd be able to get our percents, right? And Jim, you told me a percent's always out of what number? Out of 100, yes, you got it, okay? So how many times does it take me to get from 20 to 100? Five times, you agree, Zayman? So what would I have to multiply the numerator by? By five, okay? So five times five will get you your percent. All right, so if you guys have your graphs, like your table filled out, y'all are gonna get ready to make your graphs. You might wanna put your desk a little bit closer together and figure out what you're making a bar graph, right? Okay, so you're going to definitely need a ruler to make straight lines, right? And you're gonna label your sides here because we need a title and a key, right? And you're putting this information into a bar graph. Okay, so you guys work together to make your bar graph. Once you guys got it done and it looks good, then we move on to the coloring part of it, okay? These numbers here, are they the colors? Are they the number of students? What are they? Number of students. Number of students, so we would wanna mark that number of students over on this side, right? Just so we know what we're looking at, because every graph needs labels, right? So what is the number All righty, and it looks good so far, and then we're going to move on with one of us, then we'll get started on the other part, right? Okay. All right, all. Do you have your graph done? Yeah. Yes. All right. So you already. I have a, a a thing you can trace for the circle to make it a loop open circle. Okay. Let me get it for you. All right. Here we go. We can trace this. That way, it's a nicer, bigger circle, and it's not gonna mess up and look crazy, right? Okay. So you hold this, and you're gonna trace it. So one of you can maybe hold it. Yeah, I'll make it turn out easy. Grab another one here. Okay, one, someone holds it and the other one takes I think that would be great teamwork there. All right, I love how you guys did it in increments of five so far. That's good. I just have one thing to add to your um, bar graph here so far. What is this? Is this the subject? Is this the number? What's on this side here? The number of students. So we want to mark that the number of students on this side. And what is this up down here going to be? Yes. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna, okay, we're not gonna do until... This is for people that have a circle graph to make it an easier circle for them to trace. You have a pictograph. You have a pictograph. So now that you guys have this, you're getting ready to make your pictograph, okay? So you remember those pictographs we looked at yesterday with like the softballs and the blood types and the apples? That's what you're making. You're making your own like this. Yes, but you just need to make sure that your picture is related to the question. So your question is about favorite drinks. So come up with a key picture that would and. No, you just maybe maybe like a bottle or like a cup, right? Oh, for Starbucks? Is that what you're going with? Like, forgot? Okay. Okay. Um, but so we're talking about favorite drinks here. So what is something related to a drink? Like maybe a cup or a bottle? Yeah, so, so you can just do a bottle for each thing. But if I have water, maybe one, one bottle would represent maybe how many people do you want each bottle to represent? Two? That would be a good thing. So then how many bottles would I need for water? If there's four so people, if there's four people and each okay. bottle is just oh, two, water? I would need two bottles, okay? So you're gonna pick, it's just one picture you're drawing for all of them. So make it something, yes, yes. So just make it something that you'd be able to draw, okay? So we're gonna take this circle to practice tracing our circle here for your circle graph, and then you'll put these percents back into your circle to here to show it, okay? All right, that has been our class. Thank you for joining us for our sneak preview into our lesson. Uh, thank you for joining us. Bye. Bye. Thank you for joining my class.